Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for leaving home after my mom reacted badly to my coming out? I'm a 17-year-old and the oldest of three, living with my two siblings, 14F and 10M, and our mom. After our dad left when my brother was born, we moved states for family support. Since then I've been stepping up to help my mom raise my siblings. While we've had family help when I was busy and my mom was working, it's mostly been the four of us. I'm naturally more introverted, and moving to a new state made things even more awkward socially. But eventually, I made a close friend named Alana, who felt like family pretty quickly. About five months ago, Alana and I started dating. We kept it private and took things slow. Last month we hit the five-month mark, and she encouraged me to tell my mom. Given my mom's previous comments, we thought she'd be supportive of the LGBTQ community. Last Sunday Alana stayed over so she could be with me when I told my mom. We sat her down and broke the news. My mom had a major meltdown, saying a lot of hurtful things. Alana and I tried to stay calm, but I ended up in tears, and she was clearly upset. It was the first time I ever swore at my mom. I left the house to cool off, and when I came back later, I found my suitcase packed and sitting by the couch. I took the hint, grabbed it, and went back to stay with Alana. It's been tough because her parents don't know about us, they just think my mom and I had an argument. My phone's been blowing up with family members criticizing me for leaving my siblings and mom. I'm guessing they've only heard one side of the story. My mom hasn't reached out and I'm torn between feeling sorry and wondering if she understands how much she hurt me. So Reddit, am I the jerk here? Firstly, I called my father. Our relationship is strained being separated and not seeing each other often, but he's made it to some of my bigger events since the divorce. Double digits, sweet 16, mostly birthday stuff, but sometimes other things. He never wanted us to move away just felt he couldn't handle a third kid at the time. I digress. I called him, and it went to voicemail. I found myself crying into the phone as I relived the past two weeks, but I made sure to word it as, Mom kicked me out because I have a girlfriend. He called back a few hours later, and said he'd see what he can do to help, and will keep me updated, and asked me to do the same. Secondly on Tuesday I talked to Alan about us telling her parents. Between people saying I should to get their support, and those saying I shouldn't in fear of more backlash, it wasn't an easy choice. I was hoping worst case scenario my dad would be able to help. And in the best case, we'd have three adults rooting for us. She was hesitant, seeing how things went with my mom, but ultimately agreed. We sat her parents down similarly to my mom. When I say we, I really mean she did most of the talking. I was still worried things would go wrong. She started off by simply explaining why I've been here for over a week during class finals. We tried coming out to my mom, which created an argument and led to me getting kicked out. Her father said he wished we had told him sooner, and I'm sorry for failing you too for making this feel like an unsafe place to be who you are. Alana's stepmom and dad talked for a few minutes before coming back with new rules. They wanted their couch back. If that meant dusting off the air mattress from when we were kids, or just getting some extra blankets, they didn't really care. We do us, so long as it isn't illegal and we don't get into trouble. But that said, since I was now under their roof in a slightly less temporary way, I'd have to start following the same rules Alana did curfew, grades, things like that. All of which I agreed to. Her parents are going to take us back to my house today. I want to give my mom another chance, I mean I don't get how you can just walk away from someone after your entire life. I'm either going to get the documents I need, or my mom back. In the latter case, I still don't know if I'm going to go back to sleeping there quite yet. I'm still hurt. After talking to my sister she understands and would rather me stay away if needed. My brother's a little confused but says he just wants us all to be happy. Thank you all again for your overwhelming support and advice. AITA for taking my newborn and leaving to my mom's because my husband and his mom didn't save me any food. So I, 32F, gave birth to my baby boy five weeks ago. Ever since then, my mother-in-law has basically been living in our living room. She's been inviting people over, making a mess and generally being a disruption. I haven't said anything because whenever I try to bring it up, my husband gets on my case, saying his mom is here to help and that I should be grateful. So I've just been trying to ignore her and focus on taking care of my baby. I'm handling everything with the baby, feeding, diaper changes, cleaning up. I'm barely getting any sleep, and honestly, his mom isn't really helping with the baby. But I thought, at least she's cooking for us. Last night, I was in the bedroom breastfeeding my son. I knew I was late for dinner, but I assumed my husband and his mom had saved a plate for me. When I finally came out, I saw them sitting on the couch watching TV. I asked about dinner, 
and my husband said it was probably on the stove. As I was heading to the kitchen, his mom loudly said she hadn't saved me any food. I was shocked and asked her why. She just shrugged and said, well, we didn't see you at the dinner table, so I thought you weren't hungry. I was starving. I'd been waiting for hours while feeding my son. I lost it and yelled that I was feeding my son, and of course I was hungry. She acted like it was no big deal and said it wasn't her fault I didn't show up for dinner, even though she knew full well I was with the baby and hadn't eaten anything. My husband told me not to yell at his mom, but I told him he saw what happened and didn't think to save me any food. He blew up, asking what I wanted him to do, and I said, I don't know, maybe save me some food. His mom defended him, saying it was selfish of me to be upset with him for eating after working long hours. We had a huge argument, and I ended up packing a small bag for me and my son, called my brother to come pick us up, and left. My husband went off on me as I was leaving, saying what I was doing was childish. I told him I couldn't deal with his mom anymore, and he said I should be ashamed for talking about her like that after she put her life on pause to help me. My brother came and took us to my mom's place. On the way, my brother picked up some food for me, and I ate like a hungry bear. My husband has been calling nonstop, and in his last text, he called me nuts and demanded I come back today. I told him I miss my mom and like being in her clean home with good food, so I wanted to stay a while. He's now involving his family, accusing me of keeping his son away and punishing him over food. Edit. To those asking if I'm keeping my husband away from his son, I assure you he has full access to him, but chooses not to come over because he hates my mom and won't be in the same room with her. I'm staying here as long as I need to. I'm getting treated well by my family, which I didn't get at my own home. My husband can visit if he wants to see his son, but I doubt he'll do it since he's too prideful. Another edit, a lot of people asked for clarification. Yes, my husband works at the police department. Sorry if that wasn't clear. I felt bad for him, so I sent him some pictures of our son sleeping. His response? A long message berating me for rubbing it in his face, that he couldn't come see his son because of, you know, what? He called me the B-word, which he's never done before. I'm shaken and furious because I thought I was being considerate by sending the pictures. I'm now planning to get the rest of our stuff tomorrow, and stay at my mom's house longer. At least I got dinner tonight, unlike when I was at home. Oh my god, I can't even start with this. He just sent me a picture of him and his mom cooking dinner, saying they were making dinner, for real this time, and not including me. I'm seriously laughing right now because this is ridiculous. I haven't responded yet because I don't want to say something I'll regret. I'm putting my phone on silent for now because I don't want them ruining another night. I'm going to get more stuff tomorrow and stay longer at my mom's. I'm glad I stayed anonymous for this, and I might update if anything new happens. Good night. I can't believe I'm back here, but he just sent me a text saying he'll only come over if I can get my mom out of the house for two hours so he can see his son and talk. He doesn't even know I'm coming over tomorrow to get more stuff. I'm freaking out. There's no way I'm telling my mom to leave her own house. This is insane. I'm not sure how to respond yet, so I'm going to try to get some sleep and figure things out in the morning. Just wanted to update everyone. I'll let you know what happens. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.